Well, hey, Marv, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I am so excited specifically about your intensive because the idea of how we as youth workers can help kids that are hurting uh, is something that's so, uh, it seems like it's so fluid and so different for every situation. Um, and so I'm glad that you're going to be hosting an intensive uh, both at Sacramento and Atlanta. And I would love if you could kind of give a little overview of what you'll be talking about in the intensive and why it's so important for us as youth workers. Uh, absolutely. Thanks for the opportunity to give you a little heads up here. Uh, one of the reasons that this topic really matters to me is because of uh, a significant change that's happened in youth ministry over the last uh, probably uh, 10 to 12 years, and that is that we've really become intentional about reducing our ratios in youth ministry. That means we've got more and more adults uh, working with smaller and smaller groups of teenagers, which is perfect. Uh, we know that uh, those smaller ratios mean much more effective ministry, but what they also mean is that kids are much more likely to share at deep, deep levels uh, with uh, the volunteers that they're working with. The trust factor uh, is that much greater. The intimacy that comes in a small group or mentoring relationship uh, really gives students the freedom uh, to, uh, to take some risks in those relationships to share deeply. And so what we've got now uh, is, uh, is a whole generation of, of youth workers, mostly volunteers, uh, who um, probably don't have a lot of training, uh, but yet are going into deep end stuff with kids uh, on, uh, on a regular basis. And so the spirit of this uh, intensive is to come alongside those volunteers uh, not a ton of theological or counseling training, uh, and yet the responsibility for hearing the stories uh, of all these kids who are struggling with family stuff, with behaviors, with relational issues. Uh, and uh, we know that on that front, things are getting more complicated as well. Uh, family stuff is more complicated, uh, you know, self-injury, sexual abuse recovery, uh, suicide ideation. I mean, it's all there. So what we're going to do in the workshop is we're going to create a biblical framework for understanding where the pain that adolescents live with is coming from. So where's all this pain uh, rooted? And then what's the appropriate response? And I'll give you a little clue right here. The deepest pain that most kids experience is relational pain, which means that the solution somehow has to be relational as well. And the great news is that not only can we offer them a relationship that's trustworthy and confidential and safe, but we can point them to a relationship with the ultimate healer uh, who can actually bring long-term resolution to a lot of this painful stuff uh, that, uh, that they're living with. Uh, so uh, we're, we're basically going to talk about how we as youth workers can be Christ's ambassadors, can be his voice in the lives of kids, and how we can point them to him, not in a simplistic, cliched, kind of three steps to victory kind of way, <laughs> uh, but with a deep understanding of what's actually going on in their lives uh, and an appropriate response uh, in terms of, uh, of their involvement in community, uh, their involvement with a caring adult, uh, and ultimately uh, their involvement with Christ. So uh, it's, it's going to be practical. Uh, it's going to be fast moving. We've got lots to cover. Uh, I'm thrilled to be there. Can't wait uh, to be uh, both in Sacramento and Atlanta uh, to uh, to meet with uh, with the frontline youth workers that are making a difference in this generation. Well, that's so awesome. Well, thank you so much again, Marv, for giving us a little bit of a sneak peek. Uh, and again, the intensive is helping hurting kids, uh, right. and it will be in Sacramento and Atlanta. Uh, and so I think this is something that every youth worker can benefit from uh, and something that, honestly, we kind of need refreshers on uh, as we, even as we grow in ministry. So uh, we're looking forward to it and uh, happy to see you there, Marv. All right, looking forward to being there. See ya. Bye-bye.